The human brain is a massively interconnected organ. The entire central core of the brain, known as the white matter, comprises relatively large bundles of nerve fibers that mediate communication between neurons at widely separated locations. Diffusion tensor imaging is a new form of magnetic resonance imaging that provides information about the white matter. Researchers can trace pathways through this data, estimating the sizes and locations of white matter nerve bundles. But even with this technology, answering specific questions about connectivity can be difficult, since the pathways weave together in complicated ways. What is needed is the ability to isolate regions of the brain and ask how they might be connected. What if we could quickly find possible connections between the left occipital lobe and the right occipital lobe through the corpus callosum? Suppose further that we could easily isolate connections between the occipital lobes and the frontal lobes. More importantly, suppose that we could do all of this interactively, engaging in a continuous question and answer session with the pathways. Our approach begins with the pre-computation of pathways across the entire brain using the STT and TEND algorithms. Shown here are 13,000 pathways computed with the STT algorithm. Our interactive application allows us to explore these pathways, asking questions about brain connectivity. Here, we first query the pathways by length to remove pathways shorter than 40 millimeters. Short pathways are often meaningless and introduce unnecessary visual clutter. Even after removing short pathways, too many pathways are visible to discern patterns or answer specific questions about connectivity. The most powerful tool in our application is the Volume of Interest, or VOI. By placing a VOI into the scene, we can select pathways that pass through particular regions. Here we use the sagittal tomogram to move a VOI within the corpus callosum, revealing pathways that project into superior regions of the brain. In order to specify VOI positions within a standard anatomical coordinate system, we aligned our dataset to the anterior commissure, posterior commissure coordinate system, ACPC. Since we are interested in pathways involved in visual processing, we use ACPC coordinates to define a VOI that covers both occipital lobes and the back of the brain. To isolate specific pathways, we can place a second VOI into the scene. Since the VOI query operation is set to AND, the system displays all pathways that pass through both of our VOIs. Suppose now that we want to focus on pathways connecting the occipital lobes with the frontal lobes. To do this, we can move the second VOI into the right frontal lobe, isolating a set of pathways known as the right inferior longitudinal fasciculus. Having identified this set of pathways, we can use a technique we call virtual staining to assign a particular hue to the currently displayed pathways. As we move our second VOI to cover the left frontal lobe, the original pathways remain stained blue. Using the same staining technique, we can stain our new pathways yellow. Finally, by setting the query operation to custom and selecting our first VOI, we can again display all pathways passing through the occipital lobes. Virtual staining allows us to see both structures embedded within the original set of visual pathways. With our illustrated example, we have shown how our system can be used to quickly isolate known anatomical pathways within the brain. Our system also allows us to investigate candidates for previously undiscovered connections. In this example, the small number of pathways shown in purple connect the two occipital lobes through the anterior commissure. 
These pathways were generated using the STT path tracing algorithm. The data suggest that this connection may be real, but we would need formal studies to confirm this. Finally, our system can be used to compare different path tracing algorithms. Here, we show pathways through a region in the corpus callosum produced by two different tractography algorithms, STT, shown in blue, and TEND, shown in yellow. While both STT and TEND show colossal projections to superior regions, the TEND pathways also include colossal projections to both temporal lobes. In summary, we have shown how our system can be used to explore known anatomical connections, to investigate candidate anatomical connections, and to compare different path tracing algorithms.